do you want to catch more red claw yabbies up here in Queensland? Well, there's something very important I need to talk to you about, and we're going to jump right in to this right now. Guys, there are cheaper inferior pots on the market, and uh, you need to beware because they rust very badly. Now, our members have tested our products over the last two to three years, and we have um, the best products uh, for yabby red claw fishing on the market and uh, with market leading features. Let's jump in and have a look at that right now. Hi guys, well we got something very important to talk to you about. There's some cheaper pots that are flooded in the market and we need to talk about this because they rust very badly. We had one of our members, uh, his products rusted in two weeks in fresh water and uh, you don't want that. So I'm going to talk about our product range because one of our, or um, well, a couple of our senior members have asked me to do this. So I'll swing you around and let's dive into this very important topic, guys. Okay, so here's our range. Now, um, we've got a, quite a few different price points. Starting from this one, it's a three entry 45 centimeter pot. Um, it's got the nine and a half centimeter rings in. I can put whatever rings in you want. We're the only ones, the Fishing with Steve D, that has the clip-in ring system that makes these pots a three-in-one. So you can use it for three different purposes, which is really, really cool. Um, comes with extra heavy-duty mesh. Um, so they start around 45, uh, sorry, $40, uh, but keep an eye out on our SEQ Red Claw and Outdoors page for specials. Then it jumps up to the 60 centimeter three entry. This is a stainless steel one. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Got the, uh, the bigger nine and a half centimeter rings, uh, clip in rings again. Um, now they're upward facing, very important. All our Steve D, Fishing with Steve D products come with upward facing rings, very, very important. Has a speedy clip on it. Um, now this pot uh, retails for $49. Uh, also keep an eye in our SEQ Red Claw and Outdoors page for specials. Um, okay, and then we jump over to the 60 centimeter um, four entry with uh, the built-in bait bags. These are really a game changer, guys. This is Colin, and he's up in the Burnett area, and he's doing really well with our products. He's uh, tried and tested quite a few different pots, but this is the results he got in the heavy-duty extra uh, four entry pot. Uh, just have a look at the results beginners are getting. Well done, Colin. That's a great effort. And if you want to uh, get good results, uh, yeah, use the Fisherman Steve D products that have been tested over the last three years by all our members. Hey guys and girls, this is a Steve D pot. Just giving it a pull. Holy hell. This is why I use. Steve D pots simply because you can catch so many. Look how many is in here, guys. There is heaps, heaps, guys, heaps. There is tons. Wow, guys, this is why I use Steve D pots the best. Hi, guys and girls. This is why. I use a steam depot simply there's that many I can't even get them out of a pot. How ridiculous is that? That is heaps. Heaps, heaps. That is As I've said guys, um, that's uh, Steve Fishing with Steve D Yabby Pot uh, versing the Opera House Pot. So if you look down here, this is currently out of one pot. Um, a new record for me of 491 Yabbies out of one pot. So as I said guys, Fishing with Steve D Pots, definitely the go. Try away your old Opera House Pots. Invest in one of these. You only need the one, guys. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys and girls. My name's Ben. 
um, I currently use Steve D pots. So do yourself a favour guys, get onto this bloke and start using these guys because your catch rate will increase from these. So you go from a $12 pot to about a $60 pot and trust me you could have four opera house pots to even catch what physically one of these pots can catch. So that's what I said guys, get on to Fishing with Steve D, um, hit him up on Facebook, uh, Instagram and that and give him a follow guys because his pots are the go. Outfish anyone as you'd see in some of the videos I've done. Now here is Townsville's hidden secret which is absolutely a water hole that is loaded with big red claw yabbies and crayfish. Just have a look um, when you're looking for similar holes look for vegetation, lily pads, lots and lots of weed beds, um, weedy banks or tree roots, lily pads but most of all the weed beds are so so important because the big red claw love this especially if it's amongst big dead trees or lay downs that are in the water. The red claw really love big thick dead trees. The bigger red claw I have found will hang around the big er trees. However, if there's any barra in this uh, hole or the waters you're searching, forget it guys because barra will eat the red claw. So the honey hole that you're looking for when you're looking for new water it must not have barra in it so it doesn't matter if the water is crystal clear like this hole here or whether it's muddy dirty whether it's flowing or whether it's still if there's good vegetation there there will be red claw in there one thing to remember, don't ever eat red claw in stagnant water as the meat will be a orange colour and toxic. So if the meat is orange, don't ever ever eat red claw if it's orange. It needs to be that pure white colour. Um, if it's not the pure white colour, then disregard it. You see, red claw are you are immune to stagnant water but it is highly poisonous to human consumption which is caused by stagnant water. Hey have a look at uh, this pot we're gonna pull in this pot in uh, from this crystal clear uh, little backwater that we found in Townsville now have a look at how loaded this pot is now guys, there was 127 red claw in this pot. Now that is a massive, massive amount of red claw. And um, if you have a look at that bait feeder, now that's the bait feeder that moves around. When they walk all over it, it moves, it disperses the bait, and it's so important to do that. It's a good little tip that will catch you more red claw subscribe to NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia Facebook page and the Fishing with Steve D YouTube and Facebook page guys. Is this zip tie here that stays in the bottle. All right, and you just use another zip tie to tie it to the frame there. This one here. And you want the bottle to move around like that because when the Red Claw are climbing over it and stuff they move it around and it stirs the, uh, the burly up in the bottle and releases it. In all those holes, all I did was um, heat up a tent peg with a, with a gas torch and then you scrape the bottle on, well put the, um, the tent peg in a vice and then just bang 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 over the tent peg and punch all your holes and you can do it really quick, save drilling them. So that's it mate, yeah so just um, use a second zip tie to tie it to the frame here, you see, and then just leave that zip tie there on there permanently and you just keep cutting this one on and off, I'll we'll cut that one off to get it out. But yeah you need that bottle to move around so it releases the burly in the pot. All right, good luck with it.
This is his last note, Jeff. Uh, a few people have asked me how to clean them. Right, so this one's been in the freezer for a bit. He's well and truly asleep. Alright, so this a bag. Grab that rig off. And grab that center flap on the tail. Right there. Give it a twist. shoot out. Snap up those excess bits. Oh. On records I'll ready to cook. Alright this is how I split them. I've already very dead already cutting down the guts with the with the knife. But right, you get the rest of him. So just split down there with the knife. Then I'll just grab the scissors. We've already cut the link. Let's go up the center of the shell. Put your two halves. You don't want the antenna on anything, the eyes and stuff there, I'll just break them off. Mm. Nippers don't really cook well in the barbies, I feel, so I'll just break them off and I'll throw them in the pot and boil them up. Let's so. just say you want all the face removed out of it. The antenna, so we'll throw that in the end. And just the rubbish off of it. No, oh, there you just um, try your seasoning and whatever else you want to put in there, and you're ready to go straight on the body. Right. See what you should look like. Enjoy.